we've done is we, we thought we ought to start with the original, Innocent Gun original oak Cage beer. This is 6.6% 6, 6 alcohol. It actually goes really beautifully with very nicely seared uh, fish right. or very nicely seared steaks. Mm. So what we've got for you today is seared, seared scots. This looks fantastic. Let's tuck in it. Should we have a sip of the beer first? And then try it without that, or what do you I think? I promise you, do, do the food first. Do the food. In, in, my, in my sort of idea of food pairings, one plus one must equal three. So I don't want the beer just to wash the food down, that's that. I want the beer to actually put food on a pedestal. I think in the past people thought the beer was just something to uh, pull down your throat and refresh you. But now that people are trying to actually look at the flavours they keep in their beer, either the barley or the oak or the hop, nowadays if you do it really delicately, you keep the oxygen out, keep it really nice and tight, keep the freshness of the hop in there, yeah. um, you actually can make it a very, very elegant drink, which goes very nicely with elegant food. So you've got your, you've got a bit of um, samphire, you got the scallop. Um, they made it a quite nice dark sort of caramelized color by using the, the bacon in with a salad. Mm. Hopefully it's given you the sort of salty edge. Oh, a bit of lemon as well. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. This is a fantastic fantastic way of at least showing people that it doesn't always have to be wine with food. You, there's, there's some wonderful beers out there that pair with, you know, I wouldn't have thought of a beer, an oak-aged beer with scallops. Mm -hmm. 